It's quite a rare honor to be asked to take part in the confidential briefing of a U.S. ambassador destined for a foreign country. Ambassador Perry, who I've known for many years when he was a city councillor in New York, has been appointed and he has been cleared by the Senate to be the U.S. ambassador to Jamaica. As is customary, after they receive their internal U.S. briefings, they ask no more than three people to take part in a briefing for the ambassador. I have been doing this since 1979 when I took part in briefing the then incoming U.S. Ambassador, Lauren Lawrence, and I've done it for several ambassadors since. I was recently invited to be one of two people to speak to um, Ambassador Perry, and uh, I was given six questions to guide my presentation, and then I took some questions from the Ambassador. The questions centered in three areas. One, security, and insecurity, particularly crime. The murder rate was highlighted in the question that I was asked, and I responded by saying the murder rate is the worst aspect of the crime, but solving the murder rate involves solving crime, and that means economic development. The second set of areas centered around how to promote the economic development of Jamaica. Jamaica has been through a difficult period. It has applied itself in a sustained way to a stabilization process and is now looking to move into a phase of accelerated sustained growth. The incoming ambassador and the State Department asked for what sort of measures could assist in promoting more U.S. investment, more trade, etc. As you know, the U.S. is Jamaica's main trading partner, critical in investment, trade, remittances, and of course is the main source country for tourists coming to Jamaica, and the tourist sector is critically important. The third area um, had to do with overall relations between the U.S. and Jamaica, and if I would characterize them as good, which I did, as you know, this took place shortly after Prime Minister Honest was in the U.S. and met with the Vice President, the Treasury Secretary, and the Secretary of the State Department. So that was the the gravamen of the presentation, and then the ambassador had some questions. As a Jamaican, he comes with the advantage of already knowing the country and the culture. He spent the first maybe 20 years of his life here in Jamaica. Um, I think he went to Kingston College, and so he's very familiar. Then he has been representing an area in New York City, which has a lot of West Indians, mm -hmm. and therefore he's in touch with the sort of issues that relate to migration, crime, and remittances, and so he comes with that advantage. As regards the economic relationship, as you know, remittances are one of the largest sources of foreign exchange, and it comes mainly from the US. What is remarkable is that the flow continues to increase no matter what is happening in the U.S. economy and it increases particularly when Jamaica has some kind of distress, maybe a natural disaster, etc. It means that people are sending not only from their current income but when things are very difficult they will draw down their savings to maintain the flow. <clears throat> These really remittances are critical because they go into investment in businesses, home construction, they provide resources for churches, schools, and almost every institution in Jamaica. And of course, they help families with the normal expenses of 
living, food, transport, school uniforms, etc. On the trade side, the U.S. is the main trading partner, mainly Jamaica importing from the U.S. We don't export a lot of goods. We tend to be a service-oriented economy. In investment, U.S. investment was an early and important aspect of the development of the bauxite industry and the tourist industry. However, in recent times, the investment has not been as much as we would like to see. Of course, there are many other aspects of the economic relationship. There are other foreign exchange earning activities such as entertainment. And those are new areas which can be developed to expand and improve the trade, relationship, trade and economic relationship with the U.S.